it's 14, 15 grand straight away. So there's already a 10 times return on investment in three months. We've had 23 leads in 15 days. We've listed one property, which we've already had a couple of offers on, which roughly will be about 15,000 in commission. And what does that work out to be in terms of our eye? Can you remind us again? I reckon it's 10X. It's it around 70K in GCI. Yeah, yeah, just on these next. And it's not even like two weeks. It's more like one and a half. So it's not really two weeks yet. It's not really even like two weeks. Okay. Yeah. That's going to generate me with it. I've worked out $111,000 GCI. So Robert here. I've been the director of O'Brien Real Estate for about approximately five years now. I'm one of the sales agents here at Ray Wine. Vico and his team were able to get me 32 leads in the course of two weeks. I like about the program is the fact that as soon as you get a lead in, it goes into an automatic system. So Bring to our computer now and they're just coming in. So mm, it just keeps coming in in your inbox. It's and... coming in, mate. Yeah. That's why we had to go to it every two days because I just couldn't handle the, the amount of stuff that was coming in. And I don't really don't know if I'd be able to do this without you. What you do is really unique and it's at the level that you do it is it doesn't exist. That you're definitely a one of a kind. We booked in 10 appraisals in the last two weeks. In the last four weeks, we've engaged in a new campaign, which has already generated today our fifth listing. And because of that decision, my business has changed and my business has prospered. Shout out to my man. Vico and his team have been absolutely amazing. Vico, his team was always right there in the snap to come help me out. Vico helps automate my sales process. I highly recommend Vico Consultant. Highly recommend Vico. Highly recommend him. If you're considering to work with Vicolais, just stop. Stop thinking about it. Make a decision. Thanks, Vico. Ciao. In this video, I'm going to show you the technical setup and the thought process behind our real estate snapshot after working with hundreds of real estate agents all across Australia and the United States. But most importantly, I want to show you the exact meta ad template and go high level automation setup that actually going to help our real estate agent generate more seller lead, buyer lead, investor lead, therefore making more money in their business. Now, before we get started, I want to make one thing very clear, guys, is that there is no one size fit all strategy. Whether you're in New Zealand, you're in Europe, or you're in Australia, you need to find out what ad campaign work in your marketplace at what time. For example, in Australia, during 2022, the seller campaign worked really well and it started to die down. At 2023, when the COVID started to lift, it shifted to buyer campaign. So hopefully you know what that means. That's why it's very important that you understand this phase that the market in each country normally shift between buyer to seller at all time. And you need to pay attention by speaking to your real estate agents. And most importantly, we're gonna teach you how to do market and competitor research so you can see exactly what other people is doing in the market right now in your country at your time period. Now let's get started with the seller campaign. Now in Australia in particular, I noticed the market in Australia always shift towards seller campaign. So there's always more demand when it comes to seller than the buyer itself. So there's a couple of campaign that we launched for our client to get them sell a lead and it's not just one. So the first one is what we call a SMS marketing as known as database reactivation. This is the scripts. We have a separate module and a separate video on how to set that up and the script behind it. But um, we're doing everything inside high level and this is the scripts, right? So um, we're just gonna leave uh, the screenshot right here. And um, yeah, we'll normally just say, hey, if you are preparing to do something a bit with, with your property, just choose between this one, two, three, four, five option. Or the second script saying, hey, name, I'm in the area right now. Would you like a quick catch up to see how much your property worth uh, in 2024 or 2025? Because it have a custom value thing right now year. And then we have a whole automation that uh, follow up on people if they reply yes or no. Right. So again, we have a whole module and a whole video about that. Make sure that you check that out. I'll, I'll leave the link somewhere in the description, but uh, I'm not going to go too in depth regarding that. Now, the second campaign is what we call the ebook campaign. Now, we obviously have more variation than this, um, but we're just showing you uh, the three uh, top performing one. Um, and what we see when it comes to advertising for seller, having the real estate agent face, right, and the brand name 
work really well just because that we're targeting people inside the local area. What we're basically saying on this ad saying, hey, if you want to increase your property, we have an ebook or a online guide to show you how to increase your property if you're looking to sell. Obviously, this generates the highest intent seller because people who actually download the ebook um, normally have intent somewhere between three to six months on actually selling their property. And if you're wondering, guy, most real estate agents that you work with, if they've been in businesses for some time, they normally have their own PDF and their own ebook or online guide to show um, their, their lead and, and their customer on how to increase the property. But if your real estate agent don't have one, you can go into Fiverr and pay someone $20 to create one. However, in our case, we don't really use the ebook. We're just using it as a lead magnet on Facebook. When people download, we just say on high level text saying, hey, if you want the ebook, just call our real estate agent and we'll give you the ebook over the phone. That way we actually increase the engagement in our ad campaign. So actually to clarify, we actually don't have out the ebook on the matter ad level. So the next campaign is what we call how much your home worth campaign. This typically generate the least intent seller and you probably see this ad a lot if you do competitor research every agency is launching this ad and so we normally start our new agent with this campaign in particular because it's easy to generate lead. However like I said it generate the least quality um, seller just because that um, when people see ad like this right they have like a search bar but when people click it's not typeable it's not clickable right it's gonna pop up a form on Facebook and ask for their name and phone number and people just thought like you know I got some free time um, why not just find out how much my home worth and most lead always confusing this with an automated home price update they were expecting someone to email them their home price instead of a phone call from our agents so this campaign is really depending on the marketplace and the agents ability to close now next to our winner this is what we call a quick cash campaign this is targeting uh, people who really want to move out quickly and who really want a quick cash in exchange for selling their property so the message here is saying get your house sell fast and get quick cash in 90 day or less right obviously people that clicking on this ad is in a disparate intention of selling their house with a um, divorce uh, someone die in the family they want to move out quickly because they're moving overseas different ad have different message that target different people that have different intent so you have to understand that the message the lead magnet on the ad is very important um, although the creative is just you know a bunch of house with writing but the message is very important and this work out really well right this attract the highest quality seller however the volume is very little comparing to the how much your home worth campaign so this worked really well for agents who actually um, one higher quality intent lead. And the next thing is the variation of the quick cash um, campaign, but instead of image, we're doing a video ad, right? So what, what we do is that we have a video editor in house. We just give our agents a script to shoot and we'll make him a thumbnail look like this. The script is saying, hey, homeowner in city, the property market is hot right now. If you're thinking of selling, we have a network of investor and buyer who are willing to put an offer on your property within X amount of hour and then um, continue from there. When I say continue from there, I mean like the real estate agent just talk from there. What I want to do is I want to give them the hook, which is the most important thing in the video ad. And um, this is the ending, which is the CTA, the call action, which is click the link somewhere around this video to learn more, right? So whatever he say, um, in the middle doesn't really matter what most important for our real estate agent is what he say in the beginning Which is the hook and what he say in the end which is the call to action So basically we just give our real estate agent a flexible script like this so that every real estate agent that we bring on board Doesn't sound the same. Okay, and again, this is what the video ad look like so moving on to the qualification process, right? What we normally do is that we have a survey um, with seller we use inform Facebook native ad um, just because that seller have less volume than buyer we just ask them full name email phone number and street address and then what happened after guy is that they will go in the high-level CRM 
right? They're gonna get tagged, they're gonna get labeled, they're gonna get notified both the client and our team, and they're gonna get attribute tracking. Now this is very, very important because that we want our client to see which lead come from which campaign. So then when they have a call review with one of our success client manager, um, they're gonna tell us, hey, this campaign um, perform the best, it generate the best interest and the best intent buyer, and then that will be a feedback loop to our marketing team, our media buyer team, and then we're gonna be double down on that campaign. For example, this is what the high level setup look like, right? Let's say this lead come in, it's come from return on investment campaign. And you can see, we can see that from the attribution tracking, and we also tag them whether it's buyer or seller lead. And this is very important, and we're gonna show you how to set this up in this module. Now, the next thing that happened, guys, once the lead inside high level, they get tagged, tracked, and notified, they're gonna go into an automated workflow. Right, you can use conversation AI with this, but um, in this module, we're gonna teach you how to just set it up um, using the template that we provide. And um, they're gonna go to what we call a seller nurture campaign. This is what the campaign look like. And you can see here, there's a string, right? There's a strings of email and SMS that will nurture them for a very, very, very long time, okay? And for example, if they come from here, I forgot to connect the dots. If they come from the form, right? Um, Sometimes we put call now, Sometimes we book, book the appointment, um, depending on the agent. Some agents really don't like booking appointments uh, for, for some strange reason. They want to call their lead first. But if we put the book now button, which link to their calendar, they will go into an appointment reminder workflow and then they all lead back to this seller nurture workflow. Again, guys, we make a video about this. We actually get and agents that we pay really well to sit down and write the whole content. So this content is not written by us, myself or our team, but by an actual real estate agent. So this campaign nurture really, really well. Now let's move on to the buyer slash investor campaign, right? So generally speaking, in each marketplace, it's easier to obtain buyer than seller because there's always more buyer in the marketplace than seller. If you're running ad in a well prosper country like the United States, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. Like, so people wanna move into this country, there's a net positive in immigration, so there's always gonna be people wanting to buy, live, and renting place, right? More than the actual house that being there, okay? For example, the inverse of that relationship is true. If you run ad in a war-torn country such as Iran or Syria, right, people are leaving the country so there's probably gonna be more houses than people wanting to actually rent or stay in that house. So generally speaking, if you're an agency owner, you're gonna be running ad in a prosper country, right? So um, there's gonna be more buyer than seller in general. The reason why we have buyer such investor, and I want to define the meaning here, buyer is someone who buy the house and planning to live in that house. So it's comprised of first home buyer, or just you know, high-end buyers such as doctor or lawyer who actually want to buy um, their house. Investor is someone who buy the house and actually don't plan to live there, and they primarily focus on return of investment. Example on the return on the rent and the return on tax and all that stuff, right? So um, when it comes to this, okay, we have uh, this image that we create, right? So if we want to attract anything, this is just for Australia, if you want to attract a property in Hobart, you just have to compare that property in Sydney. Like $2 million in Sydney will get you a very, very crappy old looking house and actually a torn looking house, but $2 million in Hobart will get you like a mansion, right? So again, if you're running this in your country, you just have to compare the property price between uh, the place that you wanna sell and the high-end place, for example, um, LA or New York. So the next campaign is what we call X return. And this is targeting investor who focus on, again, like the return on investment with the property that they're going to purchase. And we're gonna say exclusive off-market property, okay? We say Hobart um, return on investment, eight to 10%. Uh, you know, if you have higher such as 12, 14%, uh, for example, a property in Dubai can easily yield you uh, 14 to uh, 15%. Um, you want to put that in there and put learn more, okay? And um, this one is just a blank canvas between white 
uh, and black and this one with a house in, uh, behind it and you know land can will work way better okay guys the point about running this ad is to focus more on the message and the wording rather than graphics just letting you guys know this two image perform way better than the third image okay and this one is what we call uh, again exclusive off market property starting from right so this is where we actually plan to give them a list of property in, in this area, in this city, so then they can select from. It's like a menu, a menu that people can pick from. And um, this one will target most likely for buyer, right? So this one is for buyer, this one for investor, and this one is a mix between investor and buyer, okay? So when it comes to buyer, in our qualification process, we'll build them a funnel with a whole bunch of steps and questionnaire. I think there was eight to nine questionnaire, okay? And at the end, they go into a, an appointment booking calendar right with our client okay so the reason why we're not choosing facebook right like i said like in in the seller we we're, were using facebook form the reason why we're doing that is that with buyer we have a lot more traffic there's a lot more application so we want to make the application a lot harder to actually qualify our lead we ask them i think nine different questions about their budget how soon they want to buy and what kind of like bedrooms and bathroom they're looking for and you know what kind of the employment status whether they unemployed or they are a doctor or a lawyer that's very important information that you want to get out of people and you can afford to do that because buyer have generally uh you know you have more inquiry therefore more cheaper cost per lead and therefore cheaper cost per application so you can have a long form survey to qualify your buyer so the next step is again same process right you want to put them onto the cim which is high level and you want to tag them and you want to give them a label and then you want to notify them and then you want to have what we call an attribution tracking right to understand where that lead is coming from right your client would want to understand also when, when they pick up the phone they can see right when they're speaking with this guy johnny right oh this guy come from this campaign um and he doesn't seem too interested so maybe uh we should ditch that campaign okay so, and then after that, they're going to an automated workflow, which is going to the buyer nurture campaign. Now, it's very similar to the seller nurture campaign, but obviously the content is different. And we have a long setup email and SMS sequence that's going to be nurture this particular buyer. We actually have a longer sequence for buyer in general, because buyer tend to take time when it comes to buying. And uh, again, a real estate agent actually sit down and craft this and wrote this content for us. And the next thing is that we just have a generic appointment reminder campaign because the funnel end up with a booking. It's always end up with a booking. And then once they book, they go to an appointment reminder campaign and then they come back to the buyer nurture campaign. So it become a loop. The system is very simple to set up. Hopefully that makes sense. So when I make this video, go high level for real estate agents 2025, I survey the community and we get some of interesting question that I want to answer directly and personally. So these are the best question that I picked out that I feel like I haven't covered yet in the video. So the first question is saying, would an agent need a different sub account or it can be add as a user so in our case each real estate agent that we onboard we create them a new sub account automatically i would recommend you do so the same so then uh, it doesn't get confused and messy so the second question is saying do you always have to run ad to this funnel and what ad spend do you recommend again guys what we're doing in this video is that we want to give you the template that worked for us for our go high level for real estate agents in 2024 2025 but again guys we're going to be teaching you how to do competitor research and market analysis so that you can come up with your own strategy from discussing it with your own agents and your own graphic designer to come up with your own unique campaign that's going to work with your own marketplace as long as you understand the marketing message when it comes to attracting buyer and seller campaign and we're going to teach you exactly how to do that in this module now the next part to this question is that how much ad spend do you recommend right what's the ad spend um again this is depend on the marketplace however we recommend that um 10 to 15 dollar per day which is equal to 450 to 600 dollar per month um to generate enough buyer and seller to actually make a dance in the marketing campaign. But that those are the minimum. When your client make profit and make a return from your campaign, you wanna ask more from there. But starting from 10 to 
per day is the minimum that I would go with. So this is it guys, this is the video for Go Hello was set up and Facebook and Meta ad set up for real estate agents in 2025. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share with another Go Hello Ninja and otherwise leave your question in the comments and I'll get back to you. See you on the next one. Hey guys, if you enjoy watching the video, make sure that you're also checking out this content right there.